Hoy vamos a aprender 44 expresiones idiomáticas que vas a escuchar en canciones, en películas, por la calle, por donde sea. Vas a querer saberlas, uh, por lo menos reconocerlas y saber lo que significan. Y si también, el próximo paso, si puedes usarlos tú, hacerlos el tuyo. ¿okay? Si quieres más videos con nuevo vocabulario, necesito que me avises en los comentarios. Cory, por favor, enséñame más vocabulario para ayudarme a promover el video y también para ayudarme a saber lo que tú quieres. Ah, ya, comencemos. Primero, quiero que tú me digas qué crees que significa. Te voy a dar la frase sin la traducción, después te lo voy a dar, ¿ok? Make up your mind, or make up one's mind, literalmente hacer arriba tu mente. ¿Qué crees que significa make up your mind? Un par de ejemplos. Make up your own mind, Rick. Make up your own mind, Rick. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind, tiempo de decidir, ¿no? Haz la decis decisión ya. Make up your mind. Haz la decisión. Es tiempo para tomar la decisión. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your own mind, Rick. Make up your own mind, Rick. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Sick and tired. Sick and tired. Enfermo y descansado, uh, literalmente. Pero ¿qué crees que significa cuando lo vas a usar? Sick and tired. I am so sick and tired of his bullshit. I am so sick and tired of his bullshit. And I'm sick and tired of your lies. And I'm sick and tired of your lies. Harto. Estoy harto ya. Ya no puedo más. I'm sick and tired of Your complaints. Estoy harto de tus quejas, ¿ya? Uh, I'm sick and tired of X situación. Sick and tired. I am so sick and tired of his bullshit. I am so sick and tired of his bullshit. And I'm sick and tired of your lies. And I'm sick and tired of your lies. Bored to death. A lo mejor puedes entenderlo nada más así. Bored to death. ¿Qué quieres que di que, que quiere decir cuando lo vas a usar? Bored to death. I'll be bored to death. I'll be bored to death. I'm bored to death, man. I'm bored to death, man. Aburrido hasta la muerte. Uh, literalmente, ¿qué quiere decir que no uh, podría estar más aburrido de cómo me siento ahora mismo. I'm bored to death. Si quieres hacer tu inglés sonar un poco más natural, un poco más avanzado, en vez de decir I'm bored, estoy aburrido, I'm bored to death. I'll be bored to death. I'll be bored to death. I'm bored to death, man. I'm bored to death, man. Couch potato, couch sofa, potato, patata, ¿qué crees que significa? Normalmente usado para describir a alguien, couch potato. Par de ejemplos. Human being is called a couch potato. Human being is called a couch potato. Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato. Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato. Couch potato usamos para describir a alguien. He's a couch potato. Él es muy flojo. Le gusta sentar y mirar la televisión todo el día. He's a couch potato. Are you a couch potato? Avísame abajo. Human being is called a couch potato. Human being is called a couch potato. Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato. Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato. Get your foot in the door. Uh, poner tu pie en la puerta, literalmente, ¿qué crees que significa? Get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door. 
and you can't get your foot in the door without us. And you can't get your foot in the door without us. Get your foot in the door. Normalmente usamos para, para hablar de, digamos, si tú quieres trabajar por una compañía muy grande, ¿no? Digamos, cualquier, no sé. Uh, pero no puedes entrar con una posición alta. Decimos, entra con cualquier posición, quizás limpiando el piso. To get your foot in the door. Para entrar, para que te conozcan, uh, para que vean que trabajas muy bien y de ahí puedes ir avanzando. De verdad, no sé qué sería la traducción exacta en español. Avísame si sabes qué serías. ¿Qué dirías para decir get your foot in the door en español? Get your foot in the door. To throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Towel es toalla. ¿Qué crees que significa? Un par de ejemplos. Maybe I should just throw in the towel. Maybe I should just throw in the towel. We are not going to throw in the towel. We are not going to throw in the towel. To throw in the towel, tirar la toalla, rendirse, yeah. Uh, I'm throwing in the towel. I quit. Se acabó. I'm throwing in the towel. Maybe I should just throw in the towel. Maybe I should just throw in the towel. We are not going to throw in the towel. We are not going to throw in the towel. Call it a day, call it a day, llamarlo un día, que quiere decir call it a day. I think I'm just going to call it a day. I think I'm just going to call it a day. Well done, that's it. Time to call it a day. Well done, that's it. Time to call it a day. Call it a day. Let's call it a day. Vamos a dejarlo por, por hoy. Tiempo de ir a la casa ya. Se acabó el trabajo. Let's call it a day. Se está terminando el día ya. I think I'm just going to call it a day. I think I'm just going to call it a day. Well done, that's it. Time to call it a day. Well done, that's it. Time to call it a day. It's about time. Tú llegaste a un lugar y te decían, It's about time. It's about time. It's about time you got on the road. It's about time we got on the road. It's about time we met. It's about time we met. It's about time, finalmente. Quiere expresar que te estaban ahí esperando por mucho tiempo. Imagínate que llegaste tarde al trabajo, tu jefe te dice, It's about time, ya es hora que llegaste. Ya estás tarde, estuvimos acá esperándote. It's about time. It's about time you got on the road. It's about time you got on the road. It's about time we met. It's about time we met. Jump to conclusions. Uh, soltar a una conclu conclusión. No me sale. ¿Qué crees que significa? Jump to conclusions. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions, que no sacas conclusiones uh, precipitadas, que no llegas a una, una conclusión sin tener las detalles. Quizás tienes un detalle pequeño y, y dices, oh, ya sé lo que pasó. Pues no, porque te faltan muchas detalles, ¿ya? Yeah? Don't jump to conclusions. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Rain or shine, lluvia o sol. ¿Cómo lo vas a usar? ¿Qué significa rain or shine? And then we're gonna do 10 miles, rain or shine. And then we're gonna do 10 miles, rain or shine. It's after school, rain or shine. It's after school, rain or shine. Lleva o haga sol, pasa lo que pasa. Vamos a hacer X cosa. Por ejemplo, we're open, rain or shine. Nosotros estamos abiertos, no importa qué está pasando. Uh, puede ser literalmente con el clima o también en la vida. Nosotros vamos a estar aquí, no importa lo que está pasando, siempre estamos. 
we're open rain or shine. And then we're gonna do 10 miles, rain or shine. And then we're gonna do 10 miles, rain or shine. It's after school, rain or shine. It's after school, rain or shine. To know something inside and out. Inside and out. Know something inside and out. ¿Qué quiere decir? I know the facility inside and out. I know the facility inside and out. See, you have to know your business inside and out. See, you have to know your business inside and out. I know this place inside and out. Yo sé como cada detalle de este lugar, lo conozco, he estado aquí por 20 años. Oh, he knows this place inside and out. I know the facility inside and out. I know the facility inside and out. See, you have to know your business inside and out. See, you have to know your business inside and out. Keep an eye on something. ¿Qué quiere decir? To keep an eye on something. I don't know, keep an eye on you. I don't know, keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on that telemetry. Keep an eye on that telemetry. Keep an eye on him. Uh, que, que lo vigilan, ya que mantienen una vigilación sobre él, que hay que mirarlo. Keep an eye on her, ya. Yeah? Keep an eye on, como mantien un ojo en ella, literalmente. To keep an eye on someone o una situación, ya. Yeah? Keep an eye on the numbers, del proyecto de, de, de cualquier cosa. Keep an eye on the numbers. I don't know, keep an eye on you. I don't know, keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on that telemetry. Keep an eye on that telemetry. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Pedazo de pastel. ¿Qué crees que significa? ¿Cuándo le vas a usar? Piece of cake. It's gonna be a piece of cake. It's gonna be a piece of cake. This is nothing, uh. piece of cake. This is nothing, uh. piece of cake. Es pan comido. Algo tan fácil. Ah, I can do that. It's a piece of cake. Ah, yo lo puedo hacer. Es pan comida. Muy fácil. Piece of cake. It's gonna be a piece of cake. It's gonna be a piece of cake. This is nothing, uh. piece of cake. This is nothing, uh. piece of cake. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. Literalmente, duerme sobre ello. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. Can I fire him? Sleep on it. Can I fire him? Sleep on it. Well, just, just give it some thought, okay? Uh, sleep on it. Okay. Well, just, just give it some thought, okay? Uh, sleep on it. Consultar con la almohada. Ya toma un tiempo antes de hacer la decisión. Uh, quizás tu, tu familia quiere ir a Francia para vivir y tienen la oportunidad ahí, pero tu, tu esposo te dice, let's sleep on it. Vamos a consultar con la almohada, pensarlo bien durante un periodo corto. Let's sleep on it. No hay que decidir ahora. Sleep on it. Can I fire him? Sleep on it. Can I fire him? Sleep on it. Well, just, just give it some thought, okay? Uh, sleep on it. Okay. Well, just, just give it some thought, okay? Uh, sleep on it. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later, they'll all be gone. Sooner or later, they'll all be gone. Everyone is cured sooner or later. Everyone is cured sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. Eventualmente va a pasar. Uh, it'll happen sooner or later. Va a pasar uh, tarde o temprano. Eventualmente va a pasar. Sooner or later. Dame tu ejemplo con sooner or later. Sooner or later they'll all be gone. Sooner or later they'll all be gone. Everyone is cured sooner or later. Everyone is cured sooner or later. 
I don't buy it. I don't buy it. No lo compro, literalmente. I don't buy it. ¿Cómo lo vamos a usar? It's delicious. I don't buy it. It's delicious. I don't buy it. I don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. I don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. No me lo creo. I don't buy it. Yeah. Um, ejemplo, I don't buy his story. No, no, no me lo creo. No creo su, su cuento, su historia ahí. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. It's delicious. I don't buy it. It's delicious. I don't buy it. I don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. I don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. Beats me. It beats me. Okay, can you see it? It beats me. Now what? It beats me. Now what? It beats me. What is that? Beats me. Beats me. No lo entiendo. Uh, no sé. Yeah. Hey, uh, where is Johnny? Beats me. No sé. ¿Dónde está Johnny? Pues no sé. Ni idea. No. Beats me. Uh, o, ¿entiendes esta situación? ¿Entiendes cómo armar eso? Beats me. No sé. Ni idea. Beats me. Now what? Beats me. Now what? Beats me. Beats me. Beats me. Beats me. You never know. You never know. Yeah, you never know, do you? Yeah, you never know, do you? Never know unless you try. Never know unless you try. Nunca sabes lo que, lo que va a pasar. Cosas que no son muy probables también pueden pasar. Uh, quizás tienes un hijo y no crees que va a ganar un partido de cualquier cosa porque quizás no es lo mejor y están contra un equipo buenísimo y te preguntan, ¿crees que va a ganar? You never know. A lo mejor que no, pero sí. Quizás ahí hay una, hay una oportunidad, hay una posibilidad que gane. Yeah, you never know, do you? Yeah, you never know, do you? Never know unless you try. Never know unless you try. If you insist, if you insist. I'll do it if you insist, sir. I'll do it if you insist, sir. I owe them a great deal. If you insist. I owe them a great deal. If you insist. Si insistes tú, ok, lo acepto, lo hago. Es aceptar a alguien cuando la, la otra persona es como uh, demandándolo, ya. No, tenemos que hacerlo, dale, vamos, uh, vamos a hacerlo. Ok, if you insist, if you insist. No lo estoy haciendo de, de mi voluntad, pero lo estás demandando. Ok, if you insist. I'll do it if you insist, sir. I'll do it if you insist, sir. I owe them a great deal. If you insist. I owe them a great deal. If you insist. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. Afuera del azul, literalmente. Out of the blue. I, I, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this uh, out of the blue. But... I, I, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this uh, out of the blue. But... Mr. Cardinal has just arrived out of the blue. Mr. Cardinal has just arrived out of the blue. Inesperadamente, que salió de la nada. Uh, he called me out of the blue. No lo había escuchado, no había hablado con él por años, pero me llamó de la nada. He called me out of the blue. I, I, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this uh, out of the blue. But... I, I, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this uh, out of the blue. But... Mr. Cardinal has just arrived out of the blue. Mr. Cardinal has just arrived out of the blue. Speak of the devil, habla del diablo, literalmente, speak of the devil. There he is, speak of the devil. There he is, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, here he is. Speak of the devil, here he is. Hablando del rey de Roma, ¿no? Uh, cuando estás hablando sobre alguien, quizás yo y mi pareja estamos hablando de un amigo, 
uh, y él de repente entra al cuarto. Oh, speak of the devil, speak of the devil, hablando del rey de Roma. There he is, speak of the devil. There he is, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Here he is. Speak of the devil. Here he is. Coming right up. Coming right up. Veniendo uh, arriba pronto. Algo así. ¿Qué crees que significa? Coming right up. It's coming right up. It's coming right up. Vanilla ice cream on the side. Coffee. Coming right up. Vanilla ice cream on the side, coffee. Coming right up. Lo vas a escuchar mucho en restaurantes cuando pides algo. Uh, Oye, dame un sándwich y... Can I have a, a sandwich and a Coke? Coming right up. Te lo voy a pasar inmediatamente. Ya lo estamos preparando ya. Yeah. Coming right up. It's coming right up. It's coming right up. Vanilla ice cream on the side, coffee. Coming right up. Vanilla ice cream on the side, coffee. Coming right up. Give someone a hand. Give someone a hand. Que quiere decir, give someone a hand. Come on, give me a hand with this. Come on, give me a hand with this. Veronica, give me a hand. Veronica, give me a hand. Echar una mano a alguien, yeah? Hey. Can you give me a hand? ¿Me puedes ayudar con ese proyecto? Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? Come on, give me a hand with this. Come on, give me a hand with this. Veronica, give me a hand. Veronica, give me a hand. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Para de ejemplos. Man, that's easier said than done. Man, that's easier said than done. Finding a safe place is easier said than done. Finding a safe place is easier said than done. Es más fácil decir que hacer. Cuando alguien quizás tira ideas muy grandes, oh, y uh, el año que viene uh, voy a, no sé, crecer una compañía enormemente grande en seis meses. Easier said than done. Es posible, pero mucho, mucho más fácil hablar sobre ello que hacerlo. Easier said than done. Man, that's easier said than done. Man, that's easier said than done. Finding a safe place is easier said than done. Finding a safe place is easier said than done. Have the guts. Have the guts. Do you really have the guts to take a bullet, Frank? Do you really have the guts to take a bullet, Frank? I didn't have the guts to say goodbye. I didn't have the guts to say goodbye. Tener las agallas, literalmente. Yeah, I didn't have the guts to do it. No tenía las agallas de hacerlo al fin. I didn't have the guts. I didn't have the guts to tell her. No, no, no tenía las agallas, el coraje de decirle. I didn't have the guts. Do you really have the guts to take a bullet, Frank? Do you really have the guts to take a bullet, Frank? I didn't have the guts to say goodbye. I didn't have the guts to say goodbye. Now you're talking. Ahora tú estás hablando. Let's go wild. Now you're talking. Let's go wild. Now you're talking. I'll drive. Oh, well, now you're talking. I'll drive. Oh, well, now you're talking. Lo estamos cuando, cuando para mostrar que estamos de acuerdo sobre algo. Ah, uh, tu amigo primero decía, uh, ¿quieres ir al, al parque? Wanna, wanna go to the park? Nah, I don't want to go. I uh, want to go to the movies or have a beer and go to the movies. Mejor vamos a tomar una cerveza y después al cine. Now you're talking. Ahora sí. Ahora lo quiero hacer. Ahora me estás animando un poco. Now you're talking. Let's go wild. Now you're talking. Let's go wild. Now you're talking. I'll drive. Oh, well. Now you're talking. I'll drive. Oh, well. Now you're talking.
Play it cool. To play it cool. Look, if anyone starts messing with you, just play it cool. Look, if anyone starts messing with you, just play it cool. Play it cool, man. She'll come around. Play it cool, man. She'll come around. Play it cool. Relájate, tómalo suave. Ah, uh, ya, yeah, quizás tu amigo uh, quiere ir a hablar con una, una señora y está muy nervioso. Hey, play it cool. Tómalo suave. Play it cool. Look, if anyone starts messing with you, just play it cool. Look, if anyone starts messing with you, just play it cool. Play it cool, man. She'll come around. Play it cool, man. She'll come around. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, get it this Go for it. Finally, we just decided to go for it. Finally, we just decided to go for it. All right, go for it. All right, go for it. Ve por ello. Hazlo, inténtalo, lo puedes hacer. Tu amigo quiere juntar a un equipo de fútbol y no ha jugado por mucho tiempo, tiene miedo. Hey, go for it. Inténtalo, lo puedes hacer. Go for it. Go for it. Finally, we just decided to go for it. Finally, we just decided to go for it. All right, go for it. All right, go for it. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Stop whining, you little good for nothing. Stop whining, you little good for nothing. You're a lazy, good for nothing. You're a lazy, good for nothing. Una forma muy negativa. No lo quieres tirar uh, por una razón chiquita. Quiere decir inútil. Si lo estás uh, describiendo una persona inútil. También puedes usarlo para describir un sistema, un auto, cualquier cosa. Ah, uh, this car is good for nothing. This motorbike is good for nothing. Yeah. Oh, he's good for nothing. No sirve para nada. Es inútil. Good for nothing. Stop whining, you little good for nothing. Stop whining, you little good for nothing. You're a lazy, good for nothing. You're a lazy, good for nothing. Read between the lines. To read between the lines. ¿Qué quiere decir? Once you've been here a while, you learn to read between the lines. Once you've been here a while, you learn to read between the lines. I got your note. I can read between the lines. I got your note. I can read between the lines. Leer entre líneas. Buscar el mensaje que no está ahí tan clara. El mensaje media oscura ahí. El mensaje bajo las palabras. Yeah? You need to read between the lines. Once you've been here a while, you learn to read between the lines. Once you've been here a while, you learn to read between the lines. I got your note. I can read between the lines. I got your note. I can read between the lines. To go with the flow. Go with the flow. You open yourself up and go with the flow. You open yourself up and go with the flow. Tell me. Can't you just relax and go with the flow? Tell me. Can't you just relax and go with the flow? Go with the flow, seguir la corriente. Que no luchas contra todo. A veces hay que go with the flow. Que sigas el, la corriente ahí. No hay que luchar contra todo. Go with the flow. You open yourself up and go with the flow. You open yourself up and go with the flow. Tell me. Can't you just relax and go with the flow? Tell me. Can't you just relax and go with the flow? Keep me in the loop. El loop es como esta keep me in, keep me in the loop. ¿Qué quiere decir? Just paying him to keep me in the loop on their cases. Just paying him to keep me in the loop on their cases. Yeah, I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. Yeah, I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. Manténme al tanto. Ya avísame. Uh, avísame cómo está bando todo, cómo va todo. Keep me in the loop. Están trabajando sobre un proyecto y 
tu gente, tus tu compañeros de trabajo lo están haciendo más que tú, pero tú quieres saber lo que está pasando ahí, hey, keep me in the loop. Keep me in the loop. Just paying him to keep me in the loop on their cases. Just paying him to keep me in the loop on their cases. I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. Down to earth. Down to earth. Normalmente usado para describir una persona down to earth. She's very down to earth. She's very down to earth. I find your manner very down to earth. I find your manner very down to earth. Alguien, alguien que tiene las pies sobre la tierra, alguien realista, alguien uh, sensible, alguien buena, aten, auténtica, uh, she's down to earth, que no tiene la cabeza en, en los nubes, soñando de cosas irreales, she's very down to earth, tiene los pies sobre la tierra. She's very down to earth. She's very down to earth. I find your manner very down to earth. I find your manner very down to earth. Sure thing. Sure thing. Ahí junto. Sure thing. Poke salt. Sure thing. Poke salt. Sure thing. Open up cell. Sure thing. Open up cell. Sure thing. Hey, can you help me? Oye, me puedes ayudar? Sure thing. Dale, claro, seguro, vamos, lo hazlo. Sure thing. No hay ningún problema con eso, te ayudo. Sure thing. Poke salt. Sure thing. Poke salt. Sure thing. Open up cell. Sure thing. Open up cell. Sure thing. Blow it. To blow it. To blow it. ¿Qué quiere decir to blow it? That was my one chance and I blew it. That was my one chance and I blew it. I know I had one shot and I blew it, all right? I know I had one shot and I blew it, all right? Arruinar o desperdiciar algo, yeah? Oh, she blew it. She blew it, yeah? Uh, oh, I blew it. I blew it. Que uh, arruiné algo. Estaba trabajando sobre algo, hice un par de errores grandes. I blew it. I blew it. That was my one chance and I blew it. That was my one chance and I blew it. I know I had one shot and I blew it, all right? I know I had one shot and I blew it, all right? I'm on it. I'm on it. Que quiere decir I'm on it? Okay, I'm on it. Okay, I'm on it. You may need reinforcements. I'm on it. You may need reinforcements. I'm on it. Estoy en eso. Ya tu jefe te pregunta, oye, uh, José, ¿me puedes ayudar con este proyecto? Tenemos que hacer X cosa, X cosa. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yo me encargo de ello. Tranquilízate, yo lo hago. I'm on it. Ok, I'm on it. Ok, I'm on it. We may need reinforcements. I'm on it. We may need reinforcements. I'm on it. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Yeah, well, if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Yeah, well, if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. The truth? Uh, I'm all ears. The truth? Uh, I'm all ears. Quiere decir que, que tú tienes toda mi atención. Estoy listo para sentarme y escuchar lo que tú quieres Tienes que decir, ¿ya? Tú me llegas y me dices, Cody, uh, te tengo que hablar. I have to talk to you. I have to tell you something. Ok, I'm all ears. Tú tienes mi, mi atención. Estoy aquí. Soy todos oídos listo para escucharte. I'm all ears. Yeah, well, if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Yeah, well, if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. The truth? Uh, I'm all ears. The truth? Uh, I'm all ears. Not a clue. Not a clue. ¿Qué quiere decir? Not a clue. You don't know me? Not a clue. You don't know me? Not a clue. 
sad about? Not a clue. Sad about? Not a clue. Ni idea. No tengo ningún idea. Uh, Luis, do you know how to fix uh, a carburetor? Yeah. Luis, ¿sabes cómo arreglar un carburetor? No sé cómo decir carburetor en español. Parte del auto que deja que entra aire y mezcla gasolina y todo eso. Uh, not a clue. Ni idea. Not a clue. Uh, ni idea cómo hacerlo. Not a clue. You don't know me? Not a clue. You don't know me? Not a clue. What's that about? Not a clue. What's that about? Not a clue. You're out of line. You're out of line. Can you get this seed? You're out of line. Oh, I'm out of line? Yeah, you're out of line. Oh, I'm out of line? Yeah, you're out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. Que tu comportamiento está ya no aceptable. Uh, te pasaste de la raya. You're out of line. Hey, you're out of line. Quizás te hacen un comentario muy fuerte o muy personal. Hey, you're out of line. Estás diciéndoles, compórtate bien porque ya estás pasando algo aceptable. No voy a aceptar que me hables así. You're out of line. Oh, I'm out of line? Yeah, you're out of line. Oh, I'm out of line? Yeah, you're out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. Lucky you. Okay, can you say lucky you? All right, well, lucky you. All right, well, lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you. Qué suerte que tienes. Qué suerte que tienes. Tu amigo te dice, oh, acabo de ganar la, uh, la, la lotería. Lucky you. Qué suerte que tienes, hombre. Lucky you. All right, well, lucky you. All right, well, lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you. Give it a shot. Dale un tiro, literalmente. Give it a shot. ¿Qué quiere decir? Just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Hazlo, inténtalo, no pierdes nada en tratar. Give it a shot. De nuevo, tu amigo quiere uh, juntar al equipo de fútbol o tu amigo quiere aprender inglés. Te dice, oye, ¿sabes qué? De verdad quiero aprender inglés, pero tengo miedo porque no he estudiado desde que tenía 15 años. Hey, give it a shot. No tienes nada por perder. Give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. To get on someone's nerves. Get on someone's nerves. Very certain to get on my nerves. Very certain to get on my nerves. Try not to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. Try not to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. Irritar o molestar a alguien. Puedes decir, ah. She gets on my nerves. Me irrita, me molesta un poco, ya. Yeah? Uh, las cosas que dice, cualquier cosa. She gets on my nerves. He gets on my nerves, etc. Very certain to get on my nerves. Very certain to get on my nerves. Try not to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. Try not to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. No way. No way. ¿Qué, eres, qué, ¿Qué crees que dice? ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué significa? No way. No way, he's not available. No way, he's not available. No, no way, I wasn't thinking. No, no way, I wasn't thinking. Puede tener un par de usos. Puedes usarlo para decir de ninguna manera. Hey, uh, do you want to come scuba diving with us? No way, de ninguna manera no lo voy a hacer. También lo usamos para mostrar sorpresa que algo funcionó, algo uh, sirve. Uh, mira lo que, lo que hice acá con esa maquin maquinita, lo que sea. Wow, no way. Como de sorpresa, no lo puedo creer. No way. Los dos ahí. No way, it's not available. No way, it's not available. No, no way. I wasn't thinking. No, 
No way, I wasn't thinking. El último acá, avísame si llegaste a esta, to read someone's mind. To read someone's mind. Thanks. You read my mind. Thanks. You read my mind. You read my mind. You read my mind. Leer la mente de alguien. Uh, normalmente lo usamos como, hey, I can't read your mind. You have to tell me what you want. Oye, no puedo leer tu mente, me tienes que decir lo que quieres. No, no, no asumes que yo entiendo lo que quieres, hay que decirlo, hay que comunicar. I can't read your mind. Thanks. You read my mind. Thanks. You read my mind. You read my mind. You read my mind. Ya, yeah, uh, espero que te, te haya servido eh, el video. Uh, si quieres más videos con vocabulario, trabajando tu pronunciación, tu listening, Uh, tengo más de 300 videos ya para ayudarte. Uh, mil gracias a cada persona que ha venido a Patreon para apoyar este canal. Uh, agradezco a cada uno de ustedes uh, que estén muy bien y saludables ahí. Uh, a lo mejor en casa todavía no sé uh, cuándo estás viendo este video. Uh, pero ya, yeah, espero que estés muy pero muy bien. Chao, chao.